But I mean, that's going to ultimately be the ticket. It's just got more place, more towns, and more places in town. Pittsburgh is just legalized super farming, and there are two women here from Pittsburgh at the festival. Yeah, that's right. I met one month ago. Karen Stewart and Jenny Miller. Uh, one is with the Pittsburgh International Children's Festival, which is held in April. Okay. May. And then uh, Karen's with Parks and Recreation, and she came down also to see what performance is here and to invite performance to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So let's just do a little survey. Then we have, there's a scene in Boston. There's a, there's established scenes in Boston, New York, Key West, New Orleans, Boulder, San Francisco, San Diego, Baltimore, yeah. Washington D.C. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I would say that they would be in your they'd be in some secondary scenes like yeah. any other spots that would be like real primary ones. Yeah. Uh, Newport, Rhode Island. I've been uh, performing in uh, Dance to Swarth Newport every weekend for the last eight years uh, during the summertime because no one's going to watch in the winter. <laughs> and, but I'm the only street performer they let me perform in Newport, Rhode Island. And the cops, sometimes when I first uh, get into town, uh, if you're a rookie and you don't know who I am, you are almost ready to take me in. But the, they always say he's all right because I'm a native Rhode Islander. But I've seen other people, jugglers, fire eaters, come down there and they just knock them right off. Yeah. It's amazing. That's a shame. Yeah, that's a great area. High too. Street was mentioning going back to Newport and trying to work. And one of them is a native. Uh, yeah. Well, the point is, though, that I was trying to make by listing those, and then now if we list the secondary scenes, like Seattle is a secondary, and LA would be a secondary scene, maybe. Boston. Let's ask what were you going to say? I was just going to say, um, I played in Newport for a while. What, what did you play? The, uh -huh. Just solo. And uh, just for a short while, but I was never, I was 11 years old. And I was pretty, pretty good and all like that. And I just went down in the afternoon. And people uh, would eat lunch. They had left the outdoor parks. And lots of people on the street. And then I was like, really. It, it's weird. I mean, if there was no resistance to this and we just think we're left alone on our own devices, we still have to work real hard just to figure out how to get a spot to work. Yeah. But, but the point is, it's getting better. I mean, look at all the cities we just mentioned, and you can hear, you hear word of new, new places. The new mayor there is definitely for uh, The Rainbow Gather was out there a few years ago and they welcomed uh, any of those performers. The mayor went to the Rainbow Gather? The mayor recommended street performers to come on their way through. And I used to do, when I had my one-man show, I used to do a lot of work on uh, along the Mississippi River with all the other yeah. bars. I would think that was that section down there. Um, on Friday and Saturday nights, it was a, it's a great place, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's going to be there. Canada, um, is a very important <coughs> problem for most, probably everyone, except David who's is left, is uh, the legalities of the fact you're going to claim, and if you've got a lot of equipment, it's difficult to get over the border. So, um, <laughs> but basically, Expo has given street performers legitimacy that was hitherto unachieved, certainly in Canada, and I would be willing to bet that over the next couple of years, we play Beethoven, so you can regard <laughs> that. But we're trying to make a scene in the central part of Canada, in these 500, 600,000 people, towns, and you're very much appreciated. The governments are understand the money and the culture, and tourism now. I mean, suddenly everybody recognizes the fact. And that's one of the reasons why I've been a little bit surprised to hear of an adversarial position in the U.S. because it seems to be an artsy fartsy town. And, and it's so crowded, it's just a perfect scene. And for them to have these restrictive laws seems bizarre. And there's got to be some people who think forward well enough to understand that you're washing each other's hands. Well, it, it's not. It wouldn't matter if you could take this and, and really just wipe the slate clean. 
Anytime people go and capitalize, make money, and on a spot, other people come along, see what's going on, and they go to the marketplace with something. And what, we, what we're doing here is, a, is just the same thing that we go on in any industry, which is trying to control, manage ourselves. Understand, but everybody tries to set up in California. There's a win-win situation. Um, in this situation, you've got tourism up the gate, right? You've got more tourists than you know what to do with. No, for no, 10 no, weeks. No, you, don't, you do not have that in the U.S. It's only two weeks a year that you have that situation. It's only two weeks a year, I think, it's like the winter. Christmas, really? Christmas and New Year's, is, and then the college time in March, really, is the only time that they're really streets packed with tourists. I mean, it's not that, I mean, tourists are not. It is. It looks good to me. It is a resort town. It is a resort yeah. town. And, and many sea brothers would like to see tourism side of Key West developing more. Well, watch the number of people that make money this week. I mean, it, it, all you have to do, obviously, is open the spot, certain spots. I, mean, I understand I'm simplifying it, but there's got to be somebody within the city council, whatever the ruling entity is, that can see well, there will the be. mutual advantages um, I mean, to both. Right now, um, I don't know, like six, six, more of them are real supportive of them. One is definitely opposed to the other sort of competition. Festival's going to make a lot of changes, I think, in the city. Anyway, you're all welcome to Canada. <laughs> Thanks, man. We love you. Can you let me know? You said that we go sure, across the border. Please, 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 please,